Hi, my name is Randy Hugh, and in this video we're going to walk through how do you set up Google Apps for your domain. I currently have both my website and my domain hosted on Bluehost. So let's get started. The first thing we do is we go to Google Apps. And I'm going to set up the Standard Edition. The really nice thing about the Standard Edition is, is that it's free for up to 50 users. So for a small business, this is a great service to be able to outfit your entire staff with email, calendar, uh, internet site, IM, online documents, etc. It's a great uh, service, you know, especially for a small service, and it's free. So we're going to go ahead and click on Get Started. And here I'm going to type uh, or enter on the administrator, and we want to go ahead and put in our domain name. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and click Started. And this is going to take me to another window for me to fill out all of my personal information. Okay, now that you've gone through this process, you will be receiving an email uh, with a link to your um, Google Apps site. And you can also get there by typing in uh, www.google.com forward slash a forward slash your domain name dot com. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and sign in. And I set myself up here as the user, or I mean as the administrator. Okay, and this is going to take me to my dashboard. Now, first thing I want to do is I want to activate my Google app. So that's the very first thing, and we're going to do it using the C name. So I'm going to click click here, say change San Jose Strength Coach.com to C name record. So I want to do that. And this is the, all the information that I want to copy and paste. Right, so basically what it's saying, I want to change the google.com C name to this unique string. So I'm going to copy that over into another file. And I'm going to click here, I will, I've completed the steps above. I'm going to skip the guide here. Okay, now we want to go ahead and we want to activate uh, email. So I'm going to copy all of this information here in regards to changing the MX records. So this is what we're going to change uh, in our Bluehost cPanel. And so we want to copy all this information and click I have completed these steps. I'm also going to go back to email and I'm going to change the URL to make it a lot easier for me to, under to remember. So I want the URL to be mail mydomainname.com. Click continue. And again here I'm going to copy all this information. And essentially we're just going to change the, the C name ghs.google.com to mail. And click I've completed these steps. And then we also want to go to docs, or actually I'm going to do sites. Click sites and I want to change the URL. So it says so I can log into sites mydomainname.com, click continue. Again, we're going to, you want to copy down this information and we're going to change this C name to sites and click I've complete these steps and now we're good to go. So we're going to take all of this information and we're going to go to our Bluehost cPanel. So I've got that up right here and actually let me just go ahead and go to the home page of the cPanel and after we log in we're going to scroll down to simple DNS editor zone. First thing we do is we select our domain and the first one here we have mail.ourdomainname.com so I'm um, actually I'm going to delete this because we want to create a new C name for that. So I want to delete this record and now I'm going to, for, for the name, we type in mail. And the C name, I'm going to copy and paste in the ghs.google.com. Great, so that's been added. Now we need to add two more C names. 
I'm going to create another one called Sites, and that's the exact same C name. And I'm also going to create the Google.com C name. Oops. And this is going to be also entering in the unique identifier. So that's going to be the name. It is a unique identifier that we copied from the Google Apps dashboard. And this is going to, the C name is Google.com. Okay, now we've added all of our correct C names in our hosting account under the domain name. I'm going to go back to cPanel. And now what we want to do is change the MX records. So I'm going to scroll down to, let's see, mail is what we're looking for. Here we go, mail. Click on MX records. And we're going to select a domain. And this is the domain that I'm setting up for my friend here. And let's see, we're going to delete this one. And now what we're going to do is enter in all the MX records that we copied from the uh, Google Apps dashboard. So the first one, I'm just going to copy this in. And it has a priority of 10. No period. And we have all of these MX server addresses, and we're just going to copy those in. And the next one is priority 20. The third one is also priority 20. Can't have the period at the end. And we're going to continue this for all the server addresses. So I'm going to go ahead and complete this. And once you set up Google Apps for one domain, all of the C name records and the MX records are exactly the same. The only C name record that's going to be unique is the Google.com C name record. Okay, and our last one here is ASPMX5 with a priority of 30. Okay, so what we've done is we've now um, we, we've added all the MX records and the scene name records into our hosting account. And originally what we did is we went to um, our dashboard within Google Apps. We've got all the C name records and the MX records that we needed, and then we also activated them. So everything here in our dashboard it, you can see here everything is updating and it's going to take a couple of hours but once everything resolves your email and your um, calendar and your whole you know, all of the Google Apps will be set up for you and in fact you'll know when everything's resolved when you can type in mail dot your domain name and it'll automatically resolve and you'll see a um, here we go. So this one's already set up. That was pretty fast. And we can also type in sites. Our domain name. Oops. It's going to be San Jose. And so you can see this one hasn't been uh, hasn't resolved yet. So um, it's pretty easy to set up, you know, once you kind of get through the initial stages, once you do it once, um, you know, to do others is, is pretty simple. 
hope this helps.